Candace, thank you very much. As cases of COVID-19 continue to rise, many of us may be avoiding the doctor or our health, and that is the exact opposite of what we should be doing right now. Joining us to talk more about the importance of healthy living amid COVID-19 is internal medicine specialist, Dr. Abha. Good morning, good to see you. Good morning. Well, let's talk about that because so many people are kind of hunkering down because of COVID. Uh, and they're kind of, I guess, ignoring the, the healthy lifestyle and maybe some of the other things that they're used to. What should they be doing? Well, I want to thank you so much for having me on this morning. Please, let's remember here in the United States of America, it was never urged to simply sit down and watch television or, or stay afraid. I'd like to deliver the mantra, be smart, not scared. Go for those walks outside, meditate, read a healthful book maintain contact with friends and family by phone and FaceTime and all those lovely luxuries we have with technology, but don't be scared. And furthermore, please do not be afraid to reach out to your physician should you have any medical concerns. We are not merely addressing COVID. We are addressing health as we would any other day of any other year. And doctor, I know you mentioned about going to the doctor and a lot of people are, if they can't go in person, they don't necessarily want to do that. How can you talk to those who might be in that boat? That's such a great question. You know, uh, the Center for Medicaid and Medicare Services authorized the use of telehealth and ensured that Americans could continue to see their physicians in an exceptionally important um, and ongoing way through telehealth. And what does that mean? If you don't have a smartphone, you can still call in and talk to your caring physician provider. You can talk to us by FaceTime, and there are so many medical platforms readily available, and the office system will walk you through how to engage in that platform. But I encourage you, diabetes, hypertension, anxiety, depression, any ailment, anything that feels pressing, deserves a conversation with us. We are willing, ready, and available to ensure your health through COVID-19. One of the things that I know that you, you had uh, talked to us about is how important it is to maybe stay away from smoking and vaping during this time. Can you talk to that a little bit? Absolutely. You know, it's no wonder that we saw exceptionally high numbers of cases in heavily smoker-infested areas, if you will. Please, during this time of heightened stress, uncertainty, and anxiety, I implore you, do not pick up habits such as smoking, vaping, or anything that is injurious to the lung. And why? We know that COVID especially attacks lungs that are vulnerable. We've talked about asthma, but what of COPD and what of smoker lungs? Please take this time to find ways to quit smoking. Talk to your doctor about techniques strategies and medications to get rid of that habit and ensure healthier lungs and safety amidst this pandemic. Doctor, do you find that uh, maybe with the exercise or maybe eating more healthy uh, can actually um, help the mental health that some of these people are going through that are hurting? Oh my word, the best part of my day would be walking Kona, my dog, engaging in a two minute plank with my friends on FaceTime Live or Facebook Live. Um, I can't press upon people enough. No one asked us here in America to sit down. The parks are wide open, the, uh, the air is available, dress warmly and according to the temperature, but please do not stop exercising. Dance, turn on some music, get your children involved. Um, but absolutely, Mr. Avery, exercise is now irrespective of group lessons and gym statuses. You can always turn on the music, you can always wear your your buds and get outside and exercise, 100%. Very good, before we let you go, anything else you wanna add that we maybe didn't touch on? So as a physician, I'm really big on affirmations, those sweet pearls that I send home with my patients. And I'd like to give your audience one today, if I may. Yeah, go for it. This was from Teddy Roosevelt. Great thoughts speak only to the thoughtful mind, but great actions speak to all mankind. So might we all engage in actions that speak to the entirety of humanity and continue to conduct ourselves in ways that ensure that we can gather once more safely. Very good. Doctor, thanks so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. It's been my pleasure. Thank you for having me. All right.